What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back with another Ark Modded episode for you guys today, and pretty much continuing off where we last left, where we finished last episode. We're gonna, we found the Archeleon again, and we're gonna start off by taming the Archeleon, wherever he may have just found. There he is. Is is he? I don't know if he's, she's heading back to the ocean or what she's doing, but we're gonna stick a blob of biotoxin in her butt. I guess we're just gonna go for a ride as well. Wait, I'm gonna come back. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go for a ride on her while uh, while we try and wait and tame her up. I guess she's just taking us for a bit of a cruise. Where, what's the goal here? Where are we going? Are you gonna go back in? The, I hope she doesn't go back in the ocean because then we're gonna have an issue trying to bloody get off her. Well, not even that. Just stay on her, I suppose. Okay. She doesn't seem to be going to the oceans. She seems to just be gyrating in a singular circle. So I'm here for the ride. I'm here for the ride. I should probably try and immersive tame her because then we'll get the pet and the care and stuff like that instead of the biotoxin where we just passively feed her. So let's see what it says about it. Yeah, it's a tick to, so it needs to, it just, okay. So we can only feed it kibble bait. So I probably should have saved the baits that we used for the Zippocantheuses for her instead but that's fine we we don't have to worry about patting her or anything like that we're gonna let her cruise around i don't know where she has taken us but i seem to have misplaced my griffin i think it might be over here so we're gonna try and take this archeleon up to start the day and then what we're gonna do we'll take all of them out for a test run later in the day so the zippocantheus that we tamed and the archeleon we'll take them all out we'll see how they perform and what they can do exactly and i think that's a good way to take a look at what uh, they're all capable of okay we're just going to turn on the track and thing for this little lady because she is definitely escaping us all right well i mean she's just your standard passive tame though unfortunately nothing super exciting about her in terms of um taming we're just gonna have to feed her some biotoxin until she's ready to come home with us oh that was aggressive is that at me oh no we fed her so yeah she's uh just Cruising around on the on the sand, I guess. But it does look like we can um, take her on the sand as well. So I shouldn't think she has a saddle. Surely she has a saddle, right? Yeah, she does. There it is. 76. My God, it looks like a Diplo saddle as well. It's rather expensive as well. 600 fiber, 850 hide, 200 metal, 250 wood. That's an expensive saddle. I'm not too worried about taming effectiveness on her though, to be honest either. She looks like she's slowly made her way back to the ocean. Maybe I spoke too soon. She is doing another circle. Yep, she's going, she's, we're going back to land. I guess we just uh, wait this one out. <laughs> Alrighty guys, and finally, the final bite for our Archeleon. Oh, it's all tamed up now. Finally, this took us so long, honestly. Next time we are hands down doing it with Kibble because I really hope you're worth it. It took so long. Although, to be fair, we were just literally just riding on its back the entirety of the time. So we're going to get these guys back to base. We're going to get some saddles crafted up for them. And then we're going to take them out into the ocean and see exactly what they're capable of doing. I reckon it'll be, I reckon it'll be good. I'm keen to see what they can do. Alrighty guys, we're back at base, and I'm hoping that these guys will fit okay in the pond here. I mean, there's a bit of water for them to swim around in. They're not exactly giant, I suppose. I'll throw our coelacanth out as well. This is our new female. I'm going to compare her with uh, the other female that we have as well. I mean, there's enough room for them. They can enjoy... I'll probably put them on Wanda. I'm not going to be mean. But I don't think they can drown themselves because like we saw them, we see them flapping around on the beach and stuff like that every now and again. All right, let's, uh, real quick though, let's come over here. Tom's missus, come here little lady. I want to check something here. Uh, all right, here we go. So that's, that's the new one that we tamed up. They're both the same level, we're both 145s. I think the new one is actually a lot better. 37 HP, 34 melee damage. Yeah, it shits all over the one that we tamed up. It's even got more stamina and stuff. Beautiful. Okay, so this one is Tom's new missus. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh... Mrs. Tom. That seems better. There we go. Okay, so she is going to be... I kind of think we just throw out all the eggs that we already have. And then we just go ahead and 
use these new eggs because yeah, she is a lot better than she's a lot better than the other female Deinosuchus that we had. So let's get them breeding up, and they're gonna just produce eggs for us like crazy. All right, let's go ahead and grab uh, some saddles for these guys. Uh, I don't know if it's made in the smithies or not. Zip. Okay, maybe not. Uh, zip. Okay, there's that. Can I make one? Yeah, let's go. And... Archeleon? I don't know if I can make one of these. Yeah, not enough inventory space or weight, so... Better Dino's workbench? Can I make it in here? No. Oh, that's... This is Kraken's one. That's right, because it acts as a thingy as well. It's a normal smithy. I don't think there's anything in here. Uh, I can't remember. It was just the barrel of monkeys, wasn't it? Maybe? I don't know. Nothing's showing up now. Okay, how the hell are we going to get the Archeleon saddle? Because it's very clearly required that we're going to need... Some stuff. Let's do that. Let's. I should have probably kept that egg, actually. Actually, you know what we can use these eggs for? We can use them to make the hatchery. That's probably the better way to go about doing it. I just have to make sure that I keep these new ones separate from the old ones. Actually, I should have kept that one separate, too. Crap. Um, what am I looking for up here? I wanted to check the dodos. Holy crap, that's a lot of poo. Are you guys making eggs? Okay, we're almost got enough eggs for the hatchery, anyway, just from those three dodos. Um... I'm going to hold on to both of them. I'm not sure which one's which. We're going to put them in the organic poly fridge for now. That's fine. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? We're making the saddle. I need to try and sort out some of this weight situation. We've got the berries, I guess. I don't need them. We've got a couple of um, saddle BPs as well. The adrenal gland can just go in here. I'm going to sort this out later. I'm just chucking everything in here for now. In hopes that I can actually... Make the saddle for the turtle. Okay, it looks like it'll let me. I just need some wood. Do you have any wood on you? Bunch of silver pearls, no wood. Alright, that's fine. Let's come out here. Shell shocker, mate. Uh, I hope you're ready to get a saddle. I'm going to ride you like no tomorrow. That came out way too sexual. We're, not gonna, we're never going to say that again. Okay, let's put the saddle on the zip. We'll see what that can do in a second. I want to make the Archeleon saddle first. So we need to head out and get some wood real quick. I don't think our mammoth has any on him. Scrap, come here. Make yourself useful, mate. Take us over to a tree. Get off. Get down. Okay. That should be enough. Let's head over here. I'm also contemplating... Why are they the wrong way? There is plus. That's very triggering. I haven't checked that on the inside. Okay. Uh, Archeleon. Give me it. Yes, let's go. Okay, we can make that saddle. Beautiful. Are they the right way inside? No, they're not. That needs to get fixed. Was it this one as well? No, the rest look okay. Why is that one placing like that for? I don't understand. That's super weird. Scrap, you need to come over here, mate. Oh, yep, yeah, that'll do. Maybe you had nothing in your inventory because it's gone now. Okay, let's get the saddle on. So we got the Archeleon saddle. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Reminds me of a Diplo saddle. Woo! Cruising around on our turtle. Don't know what it does yet. It's got an attack. I love how you can get on the freaking land. That's so cool. I'm not going to lie. Okay, hold on. It's got passenger seats. So we've got a bite attack. And that's it. Okay. Quite a lot of health. Shit ton of weight. Oh my god. 2,000 weight. That's actually really good. 
And it's got a lot of passenger seats. One, two, three, four. Four passenger seats, which is pretty good. And you can fully rotate on them as well. What else we got? Options, nothing, behavior. I'm assuming this guy's immune to Nidaria Venom as well. So like getting stung by the Nidarias. I'm pretty sure they're immune to it. So they've got that going for it as well. Let's, oh my God, they're so slow though. Let's come back into the water here. Does that improve our speed a little bit? I mean, honestly, it's not that slow underwater. Secondary attack does nothing. C controls it to go up. Ah, uh, sorry, down. Con control does nothing. Okay, so it's only got a primary attack. So this guy seems to be more like of a transporter of players and materials. It's not slow. I'm actually kind of a fan of how fast it is under the water. It just kind of sucks that it doesn't do anything else. Like, if it could go into its shell, I, get, I mean, it's a, tur it's a turtle. It's not really going to be able to do that, I suppose. Still, pretty badass, I would say. All right, let's jump on the Zippocanthius. This thing's fucking terrible. Look at its mouth. It's got th three rows of teeth? Two rows of teeth, each side. Okay, so you have a bite. We've got... Oh, my God. We've got a dash ability. That controls our swim. A direction. I want to see if I can jump out of the water. Like they do. X does nothing. Control does nothing. That, I think, is the grapple attack. Yeah. So that one's the grapple attack that allows us to grab stuff. Can I just swim out? <laughs> oh! Shit, you can jump! I can't see what it says, but I'm going to jump back in the water for a second. Because we've got to level up. Uh, let's just go melee damage. A little bit of weight. Some stam. I just wanted to see what that little heat thing said. I do like how you can jump out of the water. Okay, so it's got land blubbering. So I'm assuming we can only do this for 20 seconds. Otherwise, something bad will happen. We might start taking damage or something. Do we want to find out? No, wait. Let's not find out just yet. Let's breed them first and then we can find out. Because that way, we, we, if something happens, we, we don't risk losing them. Okay. I mean... They also get a pack buff, as you can see there. And it looks like they also have a bleed attack, because they were doing that while we were trying to tame them. So, I'm I'm keen to take these guys out. We'll see how much damage they can do to stuff. I want to breed them first, just in case something bad happens to us while I'm flipping out on the sea. I do like Shell Shocker. Shell Shocker is very cool. I like the fact that it's got, it's got a lot of weight, and it's pretty fast. I think we might... If we ever need to go down into the depths or like a cave or something, I think we just take Shell Shocker with us. Tom does have a lot of health and has a lot of damage, and I guess we could probably just whiz past everything. I don't know. Shell Shocker's got a lot of weight. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I do like the idea of taking Shell Shocker around everywhere with us, and I love how it can go on land as well. I don't know. It makes sense, but like it's just I find it so amusing, and I don't know why. Okay, Shell Shocker's all good. We need to get a friend for Shell Shocker. But I think Shell Shocker won't be part of the aquarium. Shell Shocker will probably just chill around the pond. I would say, because, like, Shell Shocker's a little bit too big, I think. We also need to get some more foundations down here, because I was trying to build some building stuff upstairs, and it just wasn't letting us because we didn't have enough foundation support. Can I make, like, five of them? No. Okay, that's fine. Let's just grab that real quick. Okay. And that should allow us to build off of that now. Okay, Zippocanthus is uh, breeding. There's not much I can do. I've got to wait for him to finish breeding up and then we'll take him out. I'm assuming they would drop an egg, right? Like, surely? They would drop an egg? I don't know. I would say they would drop an egg. We're going to take a quick look at the wiki. See if I missed any of their abilities, but I, I don't think I did. Alright, is she going to drop an egg, or is she just dating? And... I kind of want to see what the aberrant versions would look like. I feel like they would look pretty cool. Are you going to... Drop an egg? Is she just dating? She didn't drop an egg. Did she? I'm not missing it. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's fertilizing. It's incubating. 
kind of want to find out what happens if we flop on the land too much. I'm not gonna lie, these guys are terrifying though. They're so cool, I love them. I wish we could get, uh, the dossiers. Alright, so it's got really good health regen. It also does the bleed effect, like I said, and it appears that it also gets an ability called Blood Frenzy. Where, oh shit, when it grabs something and, um, feeds on it. I'll, I'll see if I can, hold on, let's actually see if we can pull off the Blood Frenzy. And they have apparently really good regen. Oh! Alright, so it just straight up swallowed that fish whole. Your zip is going into a feeding frenzy. So, uh, that affects all of the Zippocanthiuses around us. And I'm assuming we deal more damage now. They also do a bleed attack. Uh, bleed effect, which is pretty good. Did I get the fish? Yeah. So let's eat it again. That's such a badass animation. That's sick. It doesn't look like we can proc the blood frenzy again while we already have it active. But let's see how quick we go. So we were doing 64 damage with the bite while Blood Frenzy was active. I think we're also a bit slower. I don't want to attack an otter. I want. I like having these guys in our pond. Okay, there's a fish here. So yeah, we definitely hit harder when we um, have Blood Frenzy going on, which makes sense. But these guys are sick. I, I, I feel like they're really fast as well, so I think that might be good for cruising around the ocean depths, and their bleed attack and everything is going to be really good. I've lost the egg. Uh, I don't know where the egg went. Did I breed them over here? Well, that's... <laughs> that's unfortunate. Uh, maybe I should have picked the egg up. Okay, this is bad. Let's flop out on the, on the floor. Okay, I want to. I want to see what happens. We still move a little bit when we flop. Oh, okay, that didn't work how I wanted it to. I need to find that egg. Can I pick it up with the transfer tool? Source. Hmm. And it was a very tiny bloody egg too. Ah, uh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. I don't want to test what happens if we stay out of the water for too long if I don't have the egg. And I wanted the egg because we're breeding them. What am I... What am I supposed to do without an egg? This is bad. Um, I wonder if I can get the item collector. If I get the hatchery, actually, that might be able to collect the egg. Maybe we do that real quick. It only had four minutes, though. No, four minutes? Nine minutes. So, we'll see what happens. I'll see if I can make the hatchery real quick. But we'll... I want to flop out of here first. Let's wait the 20 seconds to see what happens. Because it just says blubbering. Are we taking damage at the moment? We're not taking any damage. So I'm assuming once this timer runs out, I'm hoping we just start taking damage. We don't die. Like, similarly to the Manta. Yeah. Okay, now we just start taking damage. You're taking damage. Get back into the water. I mean, this is pretty cool because you could essentially use this to get across some terrain. And, like, we didn't even take that much damage, to be honest. 27. And our health regenerates at a pretty quick rate as well. So, like, I reckon these Zippocanthias are pretty damn cool. Oh, there's the egg. No. And you can also grab quite a few creatures with its, um, with its bite attack, including land ones. So, you could essentially... Actually, we'll give that a try as well. That'll, that'll be good. Let's just, um... I want to see if I can make the hatchery to try and salvage that egg. What do I need for fuel? Refertilizer? Dinosaur egg and keratin. Do I not have any dinosaur eggs up here? And I'm pretty sure I actually need keratin, don't I? I've got 18. Oh, it's grabbed it. I don't even need the hatchery. I've just realized I got this thing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'd rather have the hatchery for the eggs, though, I think. Okay, no wonder I couldn't find the goddamn egg. It was freaking there the whole time. Alright, let's grab our Zippocanthias again. So, I want to try something out here. I don't know how well this is going to work. But let's... Is there anything on the water's edge that we can grab? I want to try and grab, like, a... A land... Creature and see if I can swallow it whole. Jump, fishy, jump. This is super funny, though. I'm not going to lie. 
I'm not seeing anything that we can grab. Okay, hold on. There's a Megaloceros out here. Let's see if we can grab this. <laughs> That's so trippy. Okay, can I still attack? I didn't actually even think about that. We can still attack. We can't do our secondary attack. So, we can still attack on land, but we can't grab the creatures. So, I guess they have to be in the water for us to be able to grab them. Eh, I mean, it makes sense. It's understandable. We didn't really even take that much damage from flopping around outside of the water, which is pretty good for how much distance we covered, I would say. So, like, from getting to somewhere across a river or something, these guys are really cool. I am a big fan of zips. All right. Uh, I do want to take them out. You know what? Let's do it. Let's take them out and see how much damage they can do to stuff. We'll do that. I didn't even realize the collector was grabbing eggs. That's really good. Do we want to take the Archeleon out as well? Let's do it. Let's take the Archeleon out. Although I feel like we should probably... If I do want to take the Archeleon out, we take the one that has... We do this first. And then this way, we can just flop around. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, we've gotten some serious distance there. That seemed to have reset our, our thingy-majiggy. I don't know why. We're getting water refresh off this, though, which is really good. Any sort of... It looks like any source of water is able to actually cause this to happen, which is pretty good. I'm a fan of that. That's really cool mechanic. Garuga's really outdone himself with these bloody dinos, I can tell you that much. Okay, we're in some water now. Alright, we missed everything. Let's go for a swim here. I'll throw the other one out in a second, once I find something to kill that isn't fish. I mean, they're not the fastest, but if we imprinted on one, and with their blood frenzy, they get a lot faster, so I think they're really cool. Uh, let's come out this way. So, as for the Archeditions mod, we've pretty much tamed everything, I think. The only things we haven't tamed, I believe, are the... Actually, we... Have we still got that fish in our mouth? No. The only things we haven't tamed are the... Acrocanthro. And the Concavenator. And I think everything else we've tamed. So, I think we've done pretty good for ourselves. I did want to try and take my time with taming them and stuff like that, and I still want to try and breed all of them and try, oh shit, try and mutate them and stuff like that. Because I reckon that would be fun, but we'll, we'll get to that eventually. We just don't want to get caught out here because I feel like there is some stuff that could probably murder us. So we're just going <laughs> to, we're just going to blubber our way over to this water entry point over here. We'll take a little bit of damage, but it should be fine. You can also attack while you're in the air, which is pretty funny. Alright, and we're good. Okay. What do we got out here? We got another Archeleon, we got a Meg. Lots of Megalodons over there. Okay. Let's... Can I use weapons on the back of it? It doesn't... Oh shit. It doesn't look like I can use weapons on the back of it, so... Is that another... Have I, did I kill the other Dano Suka that we saw? No, that's a level 61. Alright, let's come over here. What I need to do is I need to... Oh, shit. Didn't release. Alright, I'm, these Mantas are obviously out to get me. They thought I was attacking their precious Bazzy. There we go. Alright, now we're in business. Let's whistle follow. And let's grab... Can I grab Mantas? Can I swallow it whole? Oh, damn, the poor Manta. Okay, so we have Blood Frenzy now. Oh, shit. We might be in trouble here. That's a lot of Megs. And they are dealing a lot of damage to us. Okay, this could be very disastrous. Okay, they absolutely destroyed us. Uh, there goes our Zip. I really hope the next one is a male. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Okay, that, that, that didn't go to plan. Uh, yeah, that's bad. I wonder, can I hop off you and leave you on the land? I can. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, I kind of feel bad because we just got our male Zippocanthias killed. That is terrible. Uh, I may have overestimated their abilities a little bit. I thought Blood Frenzy would have, um, sort of protected them or... 
allowed us to deal more damage or something like that. But yeah, no, that didn't, uh, that didn't, that wasn't the case at all. I kind of feel bad. What do we got here? Oh, just a wind turbine. Oh, lamppost. Okay, that's fine. Let's get back to base. Let's hatch this egg up. Let's hope it's a male. If it's not, it's the end of the world. These guys seem to be pretty much everywhere, so we shouldn't really have an issue finding more of them. So why isn't this... So, right, we, we've got the thingy. Why isn't this egg getting grabbed? Is it because it just churned out? Yeah, surely it is. So let's leave that there for a second. I want to see if it gets grabbed by the soul terminal upstairs. Uh, what are we doing? We're grabbing that other egg. I believe I can turn it off. We'll see if there's any other Dano... Yeah, there's a, already a Dano Sukas egg in here. So we can already hatch that. Alright, cool. Let's, um, let's get this egg dropped outside in the water where we need to be. And we'll see what happens. It's cute. It's a little baby killer fish. Damn, it's a female. Alright, that's fine. Um, we'll just have to tame up a male, which sucks because we already had a pretty decent male, but it should be fine. Let's throw Tommy out here and we'll get some meat. That's Tom's missus, never mind. Let's throw that out. I'm glad we didn't throw the Archeleon out as well because that would have been disastrous for our poor Archeleon as well. It seems like, um... Yeah, quite a lot of meat. I don't know if it's meat. Seems like a decent amount of meat. I love the blood frenzy like effect that they do in the water. It's pretty cool. Okay, is there anything else out here? I'm trying to find some fish for some. For the baby. What's that? Is that the meat? Okay, we've got some more meat here. Alright, that's fine. So let's grab that. Alright, well we can raise this baby. I'm going to have to go get another male, which, like I said, it sucks, but... There's not much we can do about it, so let's get this in the baby zip, and yeah. I'm happy with how we've gotten today. Uh, actually, do we want to... I don't think I can hatch a crocodile. I don't think I can hatch a Danosuchus because... I don't have the right temperatures. Actually, we might be able to do it inside the base. We haven't tried inside the base, only outside. I don't even need a hatchery. I do like the hatchery though, so I think I might try and build it and then use that soul terminal not to gather the eggs i didn't even remember setting the settings to it like that all right let's drop the egg it's still too cold let's turn that on still too cold um what if we drop you over here you're still too cold all right we must need a lot of stuff can i make any air cons Oh, we already have some. Um, I'll put these down for now. I'm just going to dot them around random spots in the base. So that they provide nice cooling air to everywhere. Probably not the smartest idea, but I think this will work well if we try and breed and use eggs underneath. I can't get up there. Cool. Whatever. Um, what if I just like slot it in here? There we go. And then maybe I'll chuck some here. What was I calling on? Oh, the staircases? Alright, let's see if that works. So, yeah, that should... I mean, they're not perfectly placed, which is kind of triggering me, but it should be fine. There we go. Oh, it's so cute! It's a less murderous version of Tom. It's adorable. It's so cute. Did it get any mutations? I actually think it's got the better health. Um, 37 HP, 34 melee damage. Yeah, that's a perfect... That's the stats that we wanted. That's perfect. Alright, so we can already get started on our line, sort of. Let's... It should be fine to stay here. I just need to go get some food. I don't know if our um, Madredon would have any food on it. This has food on it, though. Let's grab that. And this can go in the baby zip as well. Scrap, get down from there. You're looking like an idiot, mate. You look like an idiot. Alright, let's drop some food in the baby. 
There we go, and that should be more than enough for that. And then we'll come upstairs and Tom Jr. can have some some meat as well. Alright, cool. Alright, that should be enough meat. I might just grab some more real quick, just to be on the safe side of things. Our, uh, our area is coming together nicely. I really need to, like, just spend a day dedicated to building this stupid bridge and building the separate areas that I want to do, because we need to get into kibble. I think having kibble will make things a lot easier for our bait stations and stuff like that. So I'm just going to take the armor drade on out. Just to get some food real quick. Why aren't you flying? Here we go. Oof, that breath attack chunks, though. Alright, and kill the Overraptor. I still am going to take it out against a, an Alpha Rex. I want to see how it fares. So I reckon we could probably kill them. I don't think the Armored Radon can come to the boss fight arena because it's a flyer. So I don't think we need to worry about that. Alright, here we go. Beautiful Bronto. That breath attack, my god. It does a lot of damage. Alright, cool. That should be more than enough food. I probably need to build some troughs as well. I keep forgetting to build them for all our other dinos, because I think that's how our Kana and our Scorpion also died. They just starved to death. See, like, our trike here has got no food, so I think we probably need to feed someone. What about Red Riot? Red Riot's got food. I mean, everyone's got food but that trike by the looks of it. Our Mammoth, our Dodicarus is okay. Alright, well, I mean, We'll just get some of this. You can hold on to that food. Have you got a saddle? You don't. Let's grab Red Riot, unless Red Riot has food in it. No. Alright, there we go. That should be the food situation taken care of, so we don't have any more dying dinosaurs. And here you go. Alright, we should be good. Alright, let's get this food on the baby Danosuchus. I've got the other egg up there that we could probably hatch as well, but I think we'll leave it for now. Yeah, we definitely need to build the bridge. I might do that next episode, because this is going to... This is It's annoying having to swim over here every goddamn time. I also want to try and figure out some structures that we can put on the front here to break it up. I don't really care too much about the sides. We don't really look at it all that much. It's more the front that we look at. So, I guess for now, anyway. Let's put that in there, and then we should be good. Alright, you ate all that food that we gave you. You must be a hungry little dude. Do dead, I should say. All right, beautiful. So she's got food on her. We tamed up the Archeleon today. We tested out the zips. I'm a bit saddened that we lost that mail, but it is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode today, though. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.